And, and really what this gets at is uh, something I find fascinating personally, which is just we really don't understand the human body that well, right? We, we understand uh, a lot, but it is such a complex um, machine that we're still learning things every single day. And, and so we're kind of doing the best we can with the information we have, right? And that's exactly why we built Quantine and Serenity, our kind of patient-facing brand. I think there's a big misconception about science and medicine and multiple misconceptions. But one of the biggest one is that we know a lot. Like, first of all, that's always a dumb assumption. We don't even know, like we know, we don't know a lot about anything. Um, physics or chemistry, this is all like, uh, we are we scraping the surface if we are lucky. But in biology, it's especially uh, extreme, I think, when you are in that field. Like every single time you go below the surface, and you say, oh, this, you know, causes cancer or something. And then you dig deeper into the protein and the protein change. The number of proteins we actually understand what they do in cancer is probably maximum a handful, probably more one or three like KRAS or, you know, uh, TP53 or something. Um, and even there, it's very unclear. All the details are extremely unclear. And then you dig one layer deeper and you have only questions and no answers. And you know, every good scientist would tell you, well, we simply don't know. Like you have to run a bunch of experiments. Once you run the experiments, you probably still don't know. And you only have some statistical or probabilistic insight. And I think that's very important in medicine. It's very different from, for example, building rockets, right? Any, anything that's kind of artificially created by humans, we have a much better understanding of. If you build a computer or a rocket, you have a pretty comprehensive understanding because you build it. Everything that's naturally occurring, you have just no clue. Like when you look at the body, we, if you're lucky, you know, like 0.01% of what's actually going on. And it's very clear, you know, the deeper you dig, they're just vast areas of unknowns. Yeah. And, and so would it be fair to say that in a lot of uh, the work you guys are doing, uh, obviously, is one, trying to solve some of this, but, but two, just in the broader uh, science and health industry, is that uh, we're really focused on just trying to understand what's going on. Right, right. The, the solutions only come after we understand. And so that is really kind of the, the base layer. Um, and a lot of this biotechnology and, and things that are uh, being seen as breakthroughs, really, it's just identifying something that's been going on in humans for, you know, thousands of years, we're just now starting to understand given the technologies that we have. Absolutely. And I think there's a huge paradigm shift going on in medicine right now, very slowly going on. So that's why we created a company to accelerate that. But the paradigm shift is the medicine of the past and the current medicine, um, uh, the way of doing medicine is, is very static, right? You go to med school, you learn a bunch of things and you think you know something, which is a, a big mistake. And I think the new paradigm in medicine that you know, Serenity and Quantine stand for is that it's a much more dynamic system that is an equation of basically three things. Data, you need a lot of data. You need intelligence. You need to make sense of the data and then action or systems, right? You need to then take some form of action and have some kind of infrastructure to do treatments or more diagnostics. That's not how medicine works right now. Medicine right now is static knowledge. You're like, if that, then do that. Whereas, you know, I give you one example. If you do a conventional blood test, PSA, for example, for prostate specific antigen, you get one number and it says, oh, seven. And they say, oh, it's above the threshold. I might have a problem, maybe not. Um, when we run a test on you, especially the, the somatic mutational test for cancer detection, um, which we didn't get into yet, that's a different thing. We are not looking at your uh, healthy genome. Um, we get 6 billion data points. So we get 6 billion individual nucleotide reads out of that sample. And then we have a very complicated uh, cloud-based you know, software and AI system that makes sense of that data. And we are building Bayesian layers on top of that to take in all additional information around you. And that system isn't perfect, but it gives you an idea you know, what we are dealing with here. That system changes every week like on, on a deeper level because it learns uh, from patients and studies. Um, it gives us literally 6 billion times more data points than a normal sample. And it's operated on a different medical paradigm. And the medical paradigm is more data is always better and more intelligence. 
And maybe you as someone who's in tech and business, you think like, why is that like a thing? Like, isn't that obvious? Like, of course, more data and more. But in medicine, you know, the majority of physicians would say, no, that's not true. More data is always often bad because more data means I may have to make decisions that I don't want to make. Uh, because if that test comes back positive, I have to do some things according to standard of care. Therefore, I would prefer not to do the test. And for non-medical professionals, it sounds absurd, especially for tech and finance, like how is this makes any sense? But it's about standard procedures, it's about liabilities. If I don't see it, I can't do anything wrong. And that sounds ridiculous maybe to you and many listeners, but it's literally what most doctors would tell you. It's like, no, if that's a young patient, don't do that test. Because if it comes back positive, I have to do all these things, and that would be wrong to do because it's a young patient. And then you would argue, but if you know it's wrong to do, why do you do it? It's like, well, because it's standard procedure and I don't want to get into trouble. If, you know, that's, so let's just not measure anything. It's absolutely and, wild how the healthcare system works. It's, it is wild, and it's, it's especially wild because you meet so many dedicated people who are high IQ, super trained, and knowledgeable that do all these stupid things and know they are stupid and say, I know it's stupid. That's why I don't want to do it. So it's this absurd system where we have so much talent and intelligence that is kind of, yeah, in chains. They can't, like, they can't do what they should and want to do. And that's why it's so important to break out and build companies that don't have to adhere to these you know, standard procedures, but can really strongly innovate with the patient interest in mind. 